Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is May 20th, 2022, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day. Apple stock tumbles to 137 while gold gains nicely. But first, looking at the major economic events of the day, nothing scheduled. So as we look at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, we're watching the British pound spike nicely while the other major pairs kind of bottoming out. Now looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ look like they're bottoming out. And looking at commodities, gold gains nicely as mentioned and oil pretty much unchanged. As we mentioned before, the stocks, Apple trades lower together with Microsoft and some of the other big tech trading lower as well. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remaining unchanged, at least for now. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the Euro USD right now. And you can see on a monthly chart that we are bottoming out here. Look at that right there, right there. That's 105. And you see that green candle that we've been looking for for who knows how long. But the question is, can it go further down? Now, if you look at the volume, the volume has gone down at this area. However, okay, it is on major support here. Okay, so this is really very, very tactical. So for now, we do have a bottom. Okay, will it mean that next week we won't breach it? No, it just means for now we have a bottom. So I don't expect too much volatility falling up today. As you can see, we're pretty much like at that bouncing top of the range, 105.81. So I do expect it to be choppy and not in just a tremendous um, volatility. Now looking at the GBP USD, look at that, a nice big spike, 124.75 up from 121. That's 300 pips. Okay, if we look at a weekly, you can see it a little bit clearer. Now, it's a little bit arbitrary where we are right now in terms of a soft landing. 121.63 doesn't historically have much of a support level at this area. However, that doesn't mean that, you know, ultimately it's not a decent place for it to short cover. Now, I would say that at the top of the hill, the top of this move would probably be 127, okay, if it gets there. Okay, that's another 300 pips. But this has gone down from 143 to 120. So I expect it to be somewhere in a 10, you know, at least a 1,000 pip bounce, which would be at 129. So for right now, I'm giving it a, a, a possible bounce for 127. Uh, let's see if it gets there. And then maybe it'll test its lows once again, okay, as this drama still unfolds. Now looking at commodities, gold is the one. Nice little spike yesterday from 1811 up to 1848. That's a decent move in one day of trading and just gaining some momentum. But to give us a perspective, looking at a daily chart, that's pretty much a, also a pretty arbitrary place for it to bounce. Now we're at resistance-ish level right now. 1848, we've been grappling with for, for quite some time. Okay, so there is a resistance here. If it does break down a little bit, that's to be understood. Okay, but if it does break above 1, 1853, I would say 1856, then we can see ourselves back in that 1870-ish level as well. So keep that in mind as this unfolds later today. Now looking at oil, not much doing, 109. Okay, not doing much from yesterday. So let's just not cover it because not doing much. Okay, it's as simple as that. Now looking at the Dow Jones, Trading at 31,315. Now this yesterday traded as low as 30,000, 31,000. Okay, almost hitting 30,998. Now again, I do expect a bounce here, all right, as this did debacle from its 12, 32,700-ish level. So somewhere at that 31,800, maybe 32,000, that's how far, far I think it's gonna bounce. If it gets there, okay, so let's see if that still unfolds. Now, looking at Apple stock, look at this 137. We did not continue going higher yesterday. We are just so dead in the waters. We did get a green candle at the end of the day, but ultimately we're beaten up. Now, looking at a weekly chart, you can't really take this into consideration, but you know, we're kind of like where we were about almost a year ago. Okay, this is before the split, obviously, the four to one split. So we're trading somewhere in the three to four hundred dollar range, really. Okay, ultimately, if we refer back to historic charts. Now, this has gone up a lot over historically. Okay, this is this has really been a big run uh, from where it was in 2009, 2007 um, to where it is today. 
Now take that into consideration and also just realize that this is something that you know we are getting accustomed to with Apple selling off so aggressively here. Now looking at Facebook traded a little bit lower, Microsoft on its lows, 253. That's an important number for us to look at as this is still receding. Looking at Amazon also on the, its bottom of its range, but it's got to get some luster in order to bounce if that's going to happen. Now lastly, looking at Bitcoin, unchanged. Where is Bitcoin? Nobody knows. It's between 30,000 and 30, 29,000 and just been trading in a very, very tight range. So if you do trade this, I don't, I don't say don't trade it. Just make sure that you're really very precise because we're in a very, very tight range under the circumstances. This is Fred Razak. I wish everybody a great trading day. Thank you.